sports promoter Pete Fanaritis resurrected the Warren Red Jackets semi-professional football team. Prior to the war, the Jackets had won four Western Pennsylvania semi-professional football championships. The 1946 team was rebuilt to pick up right where they had left off in 41. Working with Pete Fanaritis was Hall of Famer Steve Massa, who ran the front office for the Red Jackets. Steve sought out a handful of former players from the pre-war team returned to form the nucleus of the new 46 squad. Under the direction of new head coach Ken Wisner, many new players were sought out to play for the Red Jackets. A young Paul Pollock was recruited to play both offensive and defensive ends. Tall and lanky, Paul was a favorite aerial target of Hall of Fame quarterback Warney Check. In a game with Buffalo, it was reported that Lefty Check uncorded a beautiful 35-yard aerial to Pollock near the left side of the field, and the rangy end walked 10 yards into the end zone with half of the Buffalo team riding his back. When playing Creighton, Paul played at fullback and scored on an off-tackle run and kicked the extra point. On defense, Paul intercepted a pass and stopped the Buffalo team from scoring and added a 35-yard field goal to seal the Red Jacket win. Among the veterans of the Hivas Oils and pre-war Red Jackets was Hall of Fame player Harry Rosie Rosequist. Until 1941, Rosie had performed all the punting and place-kicking duties for the Red Jackets. After the war, Paul became Rosie's protege in kicking. Regardless of the weather conditions, Paul was often known to kick the ball barefoot. He averaged 44 yards per punt and was responsible for pinning back the opposition. Paul was a strong field goal kicker. When a star college kicker put on a demonstration of his kicking skill, Paul was asked to compete with him for that demonstration. Paul kept pace with the young college kicker, but when they reached the 50-yard mark, the college man missed. Paul made his 50-yard field goal to win the competition. Then he made the 55-yarder and went on to try for a 60-yarder. Paul's longest field goal in the game was 53 yards, which he kicked for the win. In 1947, the Jackets enjoyed an undefeated 10-0 season. On defense, they relinquished a paltry 32 points throughout their campaign. The Eastern Ohio newspaper, Youngstown Vindicator, proclaimed the Jackets as the undisputed rulers of semi-pro diadem in northwestern Pennsylvania and southwestern New York. Paul was offered a contract by the Pittsburgh Steelers, which he turned down. With the advent of television, semi-pro ball suffered in attendance, and the Red Jackets organization closed down in 1949 after playing just five games. Paul continued to play for Jamestown Dukes. Paul's final game was in Jamestown College Stadium playing against the Buffalo Bills in 1958. In September of 1960, the Red Jackets met one more time for a reunion of all the players and professional men ever involved with the team. Today, the legendary exploits of the Red Jackets on the gridiron are revered and remembered.